A Muslim advocacy group has filed a lawsuit against Governor Abbott and several state universities. That group trying to redefine a slogan that is interpreted as a call for the destruction of Israel. The use of the slogan was cited in the governor's recent executive order that shut down several pro-Palestine campus protests. Fox 7 Austin's Rudy Koski in the newsroom with more on this. Rudy. Hi, Mike. Yeah, that slogan is from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. It's a call for a standalone Palestinian, Palestinian state extending from the Jordan River all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. According to the Anti-Defamation League, that means the destruction of Israel and the elimination of the Jewish population. The lawsuit that was announced today claims that the slogan is a form of free speech and that it's an aspiration for peace and dignity for all people, including Jews. Representatives with CARE, the Council on the American Islamic Relations, during a news conference in Houston said Governor Abbott misused the slogan in his executive order to justify shutting down pro-Palestine protests at several state universities. Now, earlier this week, you may remember a top official with DPS testified before the Senate Subcommittee on Higher Ed about the trooper response at some of the campuses and also noted the 61 people arrested over the two days at UT Austin were not students or faculty members. Members of the Democratic Socialist of America joined the CARE lawsuit claiming they were also targeted by authorities. Students play a critical role in the movement for the Palestinian liberation. We hold true power on our campuses and that is the reason Greg Abbott attempts to stifle our ability to organize. Our YDSA and our SJP comrades are doing nothing wrong. They are merely exercising their constitutional rights to freedom of speech. All the actions, protests, rallies, and encampments across Texas and the rest of the country demand a ceasefire in Gaza and free Palestine, and they will continue. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. So uh, a lot of these, the university... University of Texas, we were a lot heavier than we were at, at the University of North Texas or UT Dallas or Texas Tech or UTSA, just based on the intelligence that we had and their intentions of wanting to take over and occupy and disrupt. Uh, it's our experience that overwhelming force allows us to use less force. Now, in a statement released this afternoon to Fox 7, the governor's press secretary specifically did not specifically respond to the lawsuit, but it was noted that acts of anti-Semitism have grown since the October 7th attack by Hamas and that Texas will always stand with Israel. Now back to you in the studio.